Welcome back to Local SEO Tactics, where each week we bring you tips and tricks on how to get found online. I'm your host, Jesse Dolan, coming at you with another solo episode here today. And uh, for this episode, we're going to be talking about, uh, well, it's actually one of our favorite tools that we use here at our agency, Intrix, called Page Optimizer Pro. And a little tease, uh, next episode we got coming up, um, actually the uh, the founder, um, programmer, inventor, main man behind the Page Optimizer Pro, uh, Kyle Roof, is going to join us for an interview. We already did the interview, so I can tell you that it's pretty good. Um, talks about, you know, basically, one of the main contexts is, is how Google works versus how we think it works, right? And that's kind of to the core of um, what Page Optimizer Pro does, and we'll kind of get into that in this episode here in a second. Um, full disclosure, I do want to say we are an affiliate for Page Optimizer Pro. Uh, if you go out to our resources page on our website um, or down on the show notes, we'll link to it here in this episode um, and click on it to go uh, take a look at Page Optimizer Pro or to purchase it. Uh, we are an affiliate, so we'll get a few bucks if you do that through our link. Now, I can tell you that if you go through our link, uh, because we're an affiliate, A, you're going to get a bit of a discount, uh, and B, you're not, well, by way you're getting a discount, so of course you're not going to pay more. Um, so just a full full disclosure there, uh, we are an affiliate for this uh, because we use it. Um, if you do go to our, our resources page, uh, localseotactics.com slash resources, or up in the top menu, click on resources. Um, just to take a quick uh, sidestep here, um, if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and go on there. A lot of our favorite products, tools, and services um, are listed on there. Some of them we just link to because we like them and we want to promote them. Uh, some of them we have uh, affiliate um, accounts set up, right? So if we're going to refer you to a product or a service and we get a chance to make a few bucks off it, and in some cases save you a few bucks, because uh, usually when you're an affiliate, um, they'll give you some kind of a promotion, right, if you want to push people to it. So we have that on that page. So just to be fully, fully clear, we don't have anything on that page that we don't use ourselves. Um, we're not, um, as if you've listened to this, our podcast before or watched it on YouTube, we don't promote a lot of things, right? Uh, that's not what this show is about. So if we are promoting things, I just want to make sure you all are aware that there are things that we actually use and have vetted out ourselves. Um, otherwise they wouldn't be up there. So that brings us to this uh, topic at hand here with uh, Page Optimizer Pro. Uh, it's an awesome tool. It's really part of our SOP uh, for doing SEO. Not to throw too many acronyms out there, but uh, it really is something that we use on every project that we do. Uh, those of you that have engaged us for work on your websites, we've used it. Um, anybody who's talked to us about consultations or where we've helped you roadmap what to do on your site, we've recommended it. So. Anybody who's engaged with us is either familiar with the results or familiar with the product already. And uh, we want to share this with the rest of you. So uh, we'll get into it here. And like I said, pay attention to the next episode coming out here too. We're, we got a great interview with Kyle. Um, kind of gets into um, how the guts of Page Optimizer Pro works more, why it was invented, and uh, some great insight from Kyle too. So uh, check that out. And if you don't know who Kyle Roof is, uh, it's K-Y-L-E-R-O-O-F. Uh, give him a Google right now. You'll pop up all kinds of information about him. Awesome guy, super talented in SEO, uh, kind of one of the great thought leaders and um, experimenters right now uh, in the SEO space. So if you're looking for somebody new to follow or somewhere else to get some information, um, wherever Kyle's speaking, whatever he's involved with, um, it's going to be good stuff. Can't say enough good things about him. So check that out on the next episode. So here for this one today, uh, we're going to talk about uh, using Page Optimizer Pro. There are some other tools that are going to do what we're going to be talking about here. But really, at the, and we'll, we'll mention those, really at the end of the day, what we're trying to do here is um, you want your page to rank higher in Google, right? That's what we're all doing this for, for search engine optimization. Um, the problem is figuring out what you need to do to your page uh, to rank higher in Google. And what Page Optimizer Pro does, um, it's not a magic bullet or some secret sauce that'll do all the work for you, um, but it does provide a function that um, is pretty unique in that it helps you understand what is currently ranking high in Google right now for any various search term and in, in the various market you're trying to penetrate here. Um, and it gives you the insights on what is working, so then you can apply them to your website. So it can help you break through uh, to the top of the page or, or near the top of the page um, if you got some tough competition or if you're, you're launching a new page or a new website. Uh, this kind of helps you hit the ground running to make sure that your first draft uh, is fairly well optimized. So uh, just kind of setting the stage for, for what this is all about and, and why it's going to be beneficial to you. So Page Optimizer Pro itself, um, it's basically in a nutshell, it compares and analyzes um, the top competitors for any given search term against your page. 
So as I mentioned, there are some other tools uh, that do some great um, competitive research here to help you out. I'm going to kind of run through some of those. Uh, we use these as well. Um, some of them more or less than others. Um, some of them we've used in the past and some we currently use today. Uh, one of the great ones, and we'll link to all of these in the show notes as well. You don't have to write these down. You can just uh, go to localizertactics.com, um, click on the episode here, and um, go down at the bottom. We'll link to all these. Uh, SEM Rush or SEMrush, depending on how you prefer to say it, is a great tool. They have a lot of different packages. Um, you can do like a site audit, keyword audits. You can look at your competitors, uh, get a lot of great analytics. Um, that's a, an amazing tool if you want to explore uh, what your competitors are doing and what's working in Google right now. It's very powerful. Uh, like I said, they have different plans. Um, you can spend a little bit of money. I think they even have a free plan still. Um, and then they have some pretty high-end like agency plans that are extremely full-featured. Um, check that out if you want to play with that. Uh, another one is Ahrefs, and it's A-H-R-E-F-S dot com. Um, again, we'll link to all these in the show notes here. Uh, that's another great tool for competitive research, um, website audits, keyword research, uh, things like that as well. Um, definitely, if you're not using one of those two that I just mentioned, maybe check those out and, and see if either one of those is going to be a good for, fit for you as well. Some pretty powerful tools for upping your SEO game. Um, and another one is Moz, M-O-Z. Uh, Moz is a great resource for you know learning SEO, for uh, SEO news, and then they have a great suite of tools as well to help you in your SEO. Uh, so check those out. And then uh, again, of course, here, Page Optimizer Pro or POP. And I'll probably refer to it as POP um, pretty much from here on out in the episode. Uh, and uh, POP is the one we're going to be focused on here today. So basically the thing to keep in mind first is that um, Google, there's no secret sauce or secret recipe for ranking high in Google um, just for you know what Google wants to see. Really what it comes down to is ranking above your competitors in Google, right? That's, that's the slight kind of perspective you need to have on this. That's going to change things for you. And what you need to do is understand for any given search term and any given market or, or city that you're in, who your top competitors are, um, different parts of the U S or even, you know, your suburbs in your own Metro area, um, are going to have different results. You're going to have some competitors that are in some markets, um, some that are not in others. And so what you need to do for each of those um, markets is, is maybe change your pages or have a page for each one. You know, there's no wholesale recipe that's going to work for everything. So the first thing you're going to want to do is identify your, your competitors in any given market. You can go out and do this manually yourself. Just do some Google searches, take your keywords that you're looking to dominate on and uh, just do searches for those products, service phrases, um, and attach the various markets to that and see who, who's out there and, and make a list of the dominant players. Um, page optimizer pro, um, if you start using it, it's going to do some of that work for you. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. So the way it works, if you were to jump right into page optimizer pro, of course, first you have to set up an account, right? Um, assuming you've already done that, um, you go in and kind of like our free instant SEO audit tool. Keep in mind, this is a page by page optimization tool that you're using here. It's not for your entire website. It's for a particular page because at the end of the day, that's what you're trying to rank in Google is that page, not your whole website, right? So you start with selecting your page that you're trying to optimize, and then you're going to put in the keyword or keywords um, that you want to optimize for and pick your location. So it's kind of marrying all those three things together, the page you want to optimize, the keywords you want to be found for, and what market you're trying to be found in. Now, Page Optimizer Pro is going to have two different versions, and I'm not going to really dive deep into those different ways to use it. I shouldn't say versions. There's two different uh, routes you can go here at this point. You can do the complete, um, kind of more powerful, advanced version, or the express, or the light, um, where they make some decisions for you and just kind of spit out the results at the end, which we'll get to. Um, so if you're doing that route, uh, Page Optimizer Pro will pick the top competitors um, currently ranking in Google uh, that it wants to compare against. Um, certain things, you know, certain directories um, that aren't going to be applicable are, are kind of automatically filtered out. Um, you know, the, uh, the you want to be found, I'm sorry, you want to be comparing yourself against like businesses, you know what I mean? So sometimes some of the results get a little skewed, whether Amazon is in there or, or, or things like that. Um, but Page Optimizer Pro, if you go the express route, it'll automatically pick the top relevant competitors and run the report for you. Or if you're doing it on kind of the advanced or manual side, you'll have the chance to pick your competitors, manipulate the related keywords you kind of want to be associated with and uh, run the tool. For both of these, basically, 
there's a, a bunch of different output methods for this. It, this is a very powerful, powerful tool and it can do a lot of things for you. Um, so I'm kind of giving the real simple overview of it. Um, cause this is not necessarily a page optimizer pro how to we're talking about, uh, what it does for you, right. And what the benefit is for you and the end result being to ranking higher in Google. So not doing a super deep dive here tutorial on how to use page optimizer pro. But at this point, what you've done is you've input your keyword, you've input your market um, and your web page you're trying to be um, that you're trying to optimize. And it's going to give you back some results here that's going to basically compare your website against those top competitors. And like I had said earlier, um, you're not trying to optimize your page for what Google wants. You're trying to figure out what the competitors are doing that Google then favors, right? So if, if these top 10 competitors for, you know, red balloons in Minneapolis, um, are all, you know, let's just say listed one through 10, they're going to be doing some things similar, uh, that get them ranked in that top 10. And what page optimizer pro does is analyzes that for you and then compares it against your page. So for example, if they all have three images on that, uh, on their landing page and you have one page optimizer pro will say, you know, the average for the top 10 um, performers here is, um, three images on the page. You have one, we recommend you add one to two or three more pictures, right? Kind of get in that zone of what the average is. Likewise, how many times were the keywords mentioned? How many times were the related keywords mentioned? Are they used in, um, H tags and headlines? You know, um, how many H one tags do you have? How many H twos and H three tags do you have compared to those top performing competitors? It runs through all the on page, um, metrics that it can see or not metrics, uh, information that it can see. And it spits you back the metrics on what did it needs, what you do to need to adjust it. It's going to give you recommendations on what to add, you know, add these words, uh, add the frequency of these words. Again, add more H tags. Uh, it'll get into, um, font manipulation, right? You need to have some of this in bold, some of this in italics. You need some itemized bullet point lists on your webpage talking about these keywords. Um, it's going to go through all these types of information and report back to you on what kind of adjustments you should make. So it also does give you like a handy score on a scale of zero to a hundred. So you can kind of um, visualize where you're at in compared to your competitors. Uh, we usually like to get things in at that 80 to 90% mark or higher, uh, before we're satisfied. And sometimes this does take multiple runs of using the tool. Um, so at the end of the day, uh, what it'll give you is this kind of this content brief with the recommendations you need to make now, depending on if you're a business owner uh, or maybe a marketer, um, not the person doing the actual adjustments on your page. This can be provided to your SEO person. It's pretty slick. You can say, Hey, here's the changes we need to make, follow these recommendations and, and kind of go modify the website. Then you come back and you rerun the results and uh, see, you know, did you zero in on where you needed to be or not? Now, the cool part about this is, uh, this isn't something that you want to do kind of a one and done things change. Uh, if 2020 has taught us anything, it's that the market can change. New things can pop up, right? Um, video conferencing, zoom, working from home, webcams, things like that, right. Are, are products and services that have just flown off the shelves or ratcheted up in the searches, um, compared to previous years. And that's just a quick, uh, kind of analysis or a metaphor, if you will, whatever comparison on why you need to be doing something like a page optimizer pro run, um, uh, maybe quarterly for your business, because once you get up there, you know, odds are your competitors, they're probably doing SEO as well, right? So if you bump somebody out on those top spots, they're going to feel it just like you're going to feel it to the positive. They're going to feel it to the negative. So there's gonna be some kind of counteraction from your competitors. Uh, Google can change. They're updating their algorithm constantly, right? So Google could change something and you fall out of favor or the, the rankings kind of jumble around. Um, and la last but not least, like I said, with the whole 2020 COVID, um, there's market forces at play, new keywords, new trends, new fads, things could pop up that kind of change what people are searching for. And, uh, you know, again, modify the search results for who's ranking and, and what's popular. So for a lot of reasons, uh, this is something you want to continually do. Um, we like to do this on the front side for all of our pages and then have it be something that we do quarterly as kind of an SEO ongoing process, uh, constantly making sure uh, that these pages are ranked, constantly making sure that we're dominating the competition and constantly checking to see what are they doing that we're not and trying to stay on top because uh, once you get up there, the work is not over. You have to stay there. So at the end of the day, that's just a real quick kind of, you know, scenario on how to use something like page optimizer pro. Uh, again, there's other programs out there that'll do something similar. Um, 
In our opinion, Page Optimizer Pro is the best of the best for this. Uh, we've been using it for a couple of years now. Uh, very easy to use, very easy to disseminate the information to other people on your team uh, to get the work done. And uh, last but not least, it gets results, right? Um, it really does tell you what Google is favoring. What does Google want to see um, for that uh, for that search results page you're trying to rank on? So check that out. Um, go down to the bottom of the page here. Again, go out to localseotactics.com. A link to Page Optimizer Pro is going to be there. A link to these other programs we mentioned is going to be on there. And um, check this stuff out and uh, start putting some of these tools uh, into your arsenal. So I do want to mention, uh, briefly mention it earlier, but uh, just to kind of officially put it out there, our free instant SEO audit. Uh, we mention this every episode, um, kind of a shameless plug for our own internal resource, um, but check that out to help you out too. Not that it's the same as Page Optimizer Pro, kind of different tools for different results. And anybody who's doing SEO, you know, uh, you have all kinds of different programs you use for various reasons, right? Just like a good mechanic, you've got a toolbox, it's got multiple tools in it. There's not one wrench or one screwdriver or one hammer that's going to get all the work done. So our instant SEO audit is going to help you out. Uh, go out, plug in your page, plug in the keyword you're trying to optimize for, and it's going to give you a quick checklist of the good, the bad, and the ugly that's happening on your page. Uh, likewise, you can do this to a competitive site to kind of reverse engineer them as well. And that's going to give you a good head start on uh, some of the on-page and some of the off-page stuff um, that you need to do on that web page to better optimize it. Uh, so check that out, localseotactics.com, big yellow button, top right corner, free instant SEO audit. Um, use it as many times as you want. And also here, we want to get into our five-star review of the week. Um, been loving all the reviews that keep coming in. Uh, we're getting on Facebook, Google My Business, Apple Podcasts, wherever you want to leave us a review, if you're so inclined, if you find value in the show, uh, we would love to hear from you. This is the way that, that we know that it's working. We've got plenty of you that have engaged with us for actual services, for consultations, and that's awesome as well. But getting that great praise, getting a good five-star review um, is immediate feedback for us. It's tangible. Um, it's kind of fun that we get to read them on the show for you as well. Uh, and then also it helps us, right? When somebody comes to check us out that doesn't know about us from this show or anything else, um, it's just great edification. We, we really do appreciate that. So um, if you are so inclined, we'd love to hear from you. Go on out to localseotactics.com. Down in the bottom in the footer, we've got links to all the various outlets. Um, and if you want to leave a review, we would absolutely love it. This week here, we've got a great five-star review from Miss Melissa. Actually, this Miss Melissa. And it says... Essential for local biz. I recommend this to my I recommended this to my husband since he has a local business and only knows the basics of SEO. This podcast is so helpful. He's been able to get his presence up and running with no help from me, which makes me oh so grateful. Highly recommended. Yeah, uh, that's great feedback. That's what we're hoping to do. Kind of not talk super high level SEO over everybody's head, right? Like real actionable stuff that you can do if you do know SEO or if you just picking it up from day one here. Um, hopefully there's some tips in our various episodes to, to help you out that you can apply. So thanks for the great review. This Miss Melissa, everybody else, we'd love to hear from you as well. All right. I think that pretty much does it for this episode. Uh, if you have any questions and if you want to uh, get a topic on the show, also go to localseotactics.com. Bottom left, click the button for show feedback and uh, ask a question. We'll read them on the air and answer that question. If you're having a problem, I'm sure somebody else is as well. So we'd love to also hear from you in that way. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay uh, on board and pay attention for the next episode, like I said, with Kyle Roof. That one's going to be spectacular where we're going to kind of continue forward on this whole Page Optimizer Pro topic. And uh, until next time, we'll see you then. <laughs>